Hey friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Seasick Stitch, and today it is October 2023, and I'm going to do a chart stash dive today. I thought it would be really fun. I'm off work today, uh, today and tomorrow. It's our fall break at school, and while I technically don't get the days off work, um, I thought I have enough vacation time. I can take a couple days off work and just have a little bit of a break, and I thought what better way to spend that break than do a stash dive? So uh, if you saw Gary's stash dive, I think he did it in uh, August. Um, he um, went through all of his charts. It was amazing. I think it was a total of eight hours. I don't expect mine to be nearly that long. <laughs> I'm hoping this won't take more than an hour and a half, two hours max, but we'll see. Um I have my charts, so the way that I have them organized, you can see I have a bucket here. This is my, what's in it? Um, my Mirabilia bucket, my Nora Corbett, and my Kohler Classic charts, just because I have so many of them that um, I put them in a separate bucket. I also have some that, like, I'm, oh, lavender and lace is in here too. And I have some that I'm thinking of uh, starting, so I just put them in here at the front because I'm going to start them soon or intend to start them soon. And then I have another pile over here of things I've bought recently that I haven't yet filed or things that I have pulled out that I haven't yet refiled because I was looking at them thinking about, um, am I going to start them soon this year or next year? So, and then I have... A, a file cabinet behind me. So after I get through my pile here and this bucket here, I'm going to crawl down to the floor. <laughs> it's the bottom drawer. And we'll go through, and I have it alphabetically by designer. I am going to change, because I have a folder for each designer, and I think I'm going to change it to just be like A, B, C, and just put all the, because like I have some where maybe I only have one chart from one design, from a particular designer, and then they're going to take up a whole folder, which just takes up more space than it needs to. Um, so after we do that, then I'm going to head upstairs where I have a big drawer full of either kits or kitted projects. Uh, so I'm going to go through that today as well. Um, I'm trying to think what I, I'm probably not going to show like freebies I'm not going to show any digital patterns that I have. I do keep like a notebook with the cover page um, of the digital patterns so I remember what I have digitally. I'm not going to go through those. Um, freebies I'll probably skip over. Um, I think I think that's it. Okay, let's start. Let's start with our piles. Let me move my phone. Let me move the bucket out of the way. Okay, and I'm going to start with this pile here of things I've bought recently I haven't put away or that I've pulled out and haven't refiled. <laughs> so first up is our Counting Puddles, um, which came out of um, Expo. Yeah, Expo. Um, so I love this one. This one is called Sweet Summertime. I love that. This is in... I think it's the August 2022 issue of Just Cross Stitch, but I didn't realize that, and I bought the chart. But the chart in here, the actual chart is much easier to read. So if you are, I mean, obviously don't buy it if you already have it, but the chart is a lot easier to read because it's printed in color and it's a little bit bigger. And then also from Counting Puddles, I have the Spooktacular Party, which I love. Not sure when I'm going to start those. I just haven't filed those. Um, next up, I have number five and six of the Fragments of Time 2023 charts that I love. I don't think these have individual names. I think this is by Summerhouse Stitchworks. So that's number five. I think that's just what it's called. It's just number five. And here's number six. And I love this series so much. So I'm just waiting for the whole series before I decide when I'm going to start it. Um, this is a Rosewood Manor Hawthorne, Hawthorne Hill Sampler. This was another one that came out at Expo. I love it. It's so unique. I probably will lighten up the fabric a bit. Um, 
another Rosewood Manor. It's parchment tapestry. I bought this recently. It's been on my wish list for a long time, and I just love the flowers on it and the kind of geometric shapes. Um, this one is a Shannon Christine Designs. It is Easter Bunny. Um, I, I've had this for a while. I just I pulled it up because I was looking. I think somebody mentioned it in a floss tube. Um, maybe Gary and Ronnie mentioned it on their floss tube recently. And I, I was like, I think I have that. And I pulled it out to look at it. So that's Easter Bunny by Shannon Christine. This is Souvenirs of the Heart um, by With Thy Needle and Threads, Autumn in um, Amana. Somebody sent this to me and I had it pulled out because I was looking at it because of it's fall and the squirrels. That's why I was looking at it. Um, these two I got at Acorns a while ago. This is by just another button company and it's my CZ. Whoops, how about that? <laughs> CZ. Um, and they're they include, you're supposed to stitch, it says stitch the flowers on the perforated paper. You add the floss and needle and they give you buttons. I will probably stitch the whole thing, to be honest. Because I want the backgrounds, I want them to match, right? So I'm probably going to stitch the whole background. Uh, eventually, but this is something I got off of one of the stash and load pages. It's called Trains. It's a booklet by uh, Book Seventeen, Highball and Trains by Pucker Brush Inc. My cousin is a train engineer for Amtrak, so I got that thinking about him. Next up is a Jan Hicks Creates Huntington Hall. This is also an Expo release. I love that. Next, this is one that Ronnie and I are going to start at some point. Uh, this is called Sampler. Oh, this is called Rose Band Sampler by Samplers and Primitives. I love this so very much. Love, love, love. So pretty. This one is um, Ink Circles, Clouds Over Verlanda. That's another expo release. So pretty. Look at all those beautiful Quakers. This was a free, well, I guess it was a freebie by Fox and Rabbit um, from Stitching in the Wild, and it's called Come Party with Frank, and I'm just showing it real quick, even though I said it wasn't going to show freebies, but this is more like, you know, a, an actual chart that we got for free <laughs> at Stitching in the Wild. This I got for free, <laughs> don't listen to me, by Lindy Stitches when I ordered um, the Black Cat series. Um, it's called Thankful Swan, and she includes a little free chart with her order. So that's super cute. I love that. This one is called Birds of a Feather Needlebook by Stacy Nash. So I just thought that was so pretty. And Stacy 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 Nash is going to be one of the uh, designer focus on a designers um, next year for um, that Gary and Ronnie are hosting. And look, that little bird. It's holding a needle and there's some thread hanging down from it. Isn't that cute? I just think it's so sweet. This is another Stitching in the Wild um, by Rami's Creations. This is another free chart we got when we checked in at Stitching in the Wild, and that's super cute. This is Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio. Um, I was thinking about starting it this Halloween and then decided not to. So I had pulled it out and hadn't put it back yet. I do like it. This one is a, one from Sash Unload. This is Art Ventures, a charted graph for cross stitch, state bird and flower from Nebraska. Um, it is a hand drawn chart. So I grew up in Nebraska for those who didn't know. So there you go. And I'm just not sure, like, here's a good example of the design, original design. It says by Jean Lanning. Um, like, I will only have one chart by her. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And I probably won't necessarily remember her name. So, like, that makes where do I, how do I file it a little tricky if I want to remember, right, that I'm going to have it, that I do have it. This is another stash and load one. It's called Snowy River Bell Pole. It is by JCA Inc. I just thought it was really pretty winter scene. 
there's the title, Snowy River by JCA Link. Another stash unload. This is called Pat Rogers Counted Collection Antique Alphabet. And I think it's so pretty from 1982. But I just, it's just like that design just doesn't go out of style. Flowers and alphabets. Remember when I didn't like alphabets? I'm still very selective. I will say I'm still very selective about the alphabets that I like. How about that? <laughs> this next one is by Ingleside Imaginarium. It is called Fish and Frogs. And I think it's the cutest little like summer stitch. And it comes with those uh, pins down there. Um, I got it recently. It's so cute. Trying to up my like spring summer um, pieces. This one is called Home Tweet Home by Primrose Cottage Stitches. It's just a cute little small spring piece. Again, trying to increase my spring. I have so much winter, really. This one is called The Honey Craftsman Sampler by Stitchy Pros. I won this um, at Stitching in the Wild. They had a raffle, and I won it. So that's cute. It says, Busy Bees Bustling to Each Fragrant Flower Small Honey Craftsman. Really cute. Then we have some more fragments in time. So apparently I have not filed any of these. So um, these are all 2023. So here's number one. With the house. Um, number two is with the reindeer, which is, this is the one that I saw first. And it really kind of started the whole thing. Number three is this beautiful swan. And then number four are these beautiful flowers. And then we already saw five and six. So I got to get seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. This next one is also by Summer House Stitchworks. It's called Forget Me Not. I just thought it was really pretty. You can also finish it as a drum. I just thought that was really pretty. Next up is Santa's Workshop by Jim Shore that I had been eyeing for a very long time and finally just bit the bullet and, and bought it. Um, and it came with the beads and the buttons as well. Jim Shore, Santa's Workshop. Okay. Next, I had um, a few that pulled out because I'm thinking of starting. These ones I'm, I'm thinking of starting. So this is Home for the Holidays by Blackbird Design. So I have the book uh, because my mother asked me to stitch Tis the Season for her. She liked this one. Um, so I want to start this in December for her. Because it's been a couple years since she's asked me. So I'm actually going to put that back over here so I don't forget. And then um, I have pulled out, I guess this is technically a digital one, but I printed it. This is by Vic the Victoria Sampler. It is called A Year of Stitches. Sarah, the Stitching Mommy, just finished hers. Um, this was a freebie in the Victoria Sampler Facebook group two years ago. It is now for sale on, the, um, on her website. Um, but Robin from Bird's Eye Stitches, Stitcher and I are going to start this in January as our new year new start So I'm super excited about that. So I had to pull it out because you have to select your own floss colors They don't I mean that's part of the creativity, right? So I had this pulled out to start working on um, Gathering floss for that. But I'm super excited to start it because I just really love it and I love how Sarah's turned out and all that Then I had pulled out <laughs> Y'all gonna laugh at me. Um, I mentioned this in a previous floss tube too like because now I have finished all four of the Rosewood Manor seasonal Quakers. And yes, I still have the seasonal montages that I'm working on that are going to take me several years to do. But like, that's only one seasonal piece when I have these Kohler uh, design studio seasonal pieces that I think I'm going to start next year. I'm not 100% sold on it, but they fit on a fat quarter. So you know what I mean? Like they fit on a fat quarter. So I'm thinking, so I pulled them out to look at them and see how big they are. And they do fit on a fat quarter. So this is the spring one. This is summer. I mean, there's a lot of back stitching and it's dense work, right? Like it's, it's not easy work by any means. This is autumn. 
and they're mostly full coverage, but there is some spots where it's not. So I am going to have to think about like fabric color. It's not just going to be like a white Lugano, um, like I'm doing the montages on. And then this is winter, which I love. This one is probably my favorite. So I have those pulled out. And look at that little ice skate with the flowers in it. I have those pulled out to look at and see, am I really going to start those next year? I'm leaning towards yes, but let me know what you think. Okay, we're going to move on to our bucket now. Let me I'm just going to put those on the ground. Sorry for the loud bang. Okay, so here's our bucket. And I will go through these. Okay, so first up is um, In the Library by Mojo Stitches, which I'm starting with my friend. Uh, oh my gosh, Jesse. <laughs> I almost said Jesse Marie. It's it, it, Jesse Marie does stuff. It's not that Jesse. It's a different, different Jesse. Um, this fabric is kind of. So it's all ready to go. I think I have the floss. Yeah, I have the floss. I have the fabric. We just need to start it. Um, we picked this up when I was visiting my folks in May. Um, Jesse was kind enough to drive up to where my parents live. She lives in the area near my, uh, you know, like maybe hour, hour and a half from my parents. And so she was kind enough to drive up and we went to Colorado cross stitcher together. Um, and so because I'm going back in December for Christmas, I'm going back to visit my folks. Um, I think we're going to start this then, right, Jesse, we're going to start this one then I'm going to take it with me and we're going to start it then. I had this one pulled out because I was going to start it in December. I don't think I am anymore, but this is Quaker Christmas two. Um, this is by bygone stitches. I think it's so pretty. I'm going to do it all in reds. I even have the silks from Vicki Clayton. And it's perfect red. 6211 slash 6215 is what I'm doing. I'm doing the whole thing in perfect red. I was going to start it, but then um, the only reason why I'm not is because I remembered that I was going to start that Blackbird uh, for my mom instead. So I don't want to start too much um, in December because uh, I also have another to start in December. So... This one needs to be kind of refiled back away. Okay, so I have some lavender and lace charts here. I have some of these from Stash and Load. Some of these were gifted and all that, and I don't know that I have notes on them as to which what, but this is Fallen Roses, which is so pretty. This one is uh, Emma's Garden, also so pretty. Perfect for spring, right? This one is um, The Spirit of Christmas. That might have been my first one that I got of lavender and lace. That I, I have not stitched any of these yet. This one is Ice Angel. I'm trying to think, I think maybe somebody gave this to me. Which I, lo I love it. Um, this one is uh, Nantucket Rose, which I think somebody gave to me. Love that. This one, oh my gosh, I love, I love all these. It's Winter Rose. I just need more time, like, because I love so many of these. This one, I know I bought this one. This one is Mother's Tree, which I think is really, really unique. Oh, I need to do that one. And then I have the Celtic Ladies. So um, this one, I think somebody sent me this one. This is Celtic Christmas. She says Noelle on it. I think she's super pretty. I am a member of, there's a Celtic lady Facebook group um, where people who do um, conversions, they will share their conversions. So um, I'm a member of that group as well. So this is spring. I love the blue in her dress. Um, it doesn't feel super spring to me though. I don't know why. And then summer. So I might do a conversion on some of these. The, the Noel, the winter one, I'll keep her as is, but some of these, I don't know. I really like summer. Spring one, I don't know. Um, oh, this is winter. She's gorgeous. And then this is autumn. And autumn doesn't look very autumnal to me, so I might do a conversion of her whenever I get to it. Um, I was thinking of, um, okay, well, is... For like my next seasonal series since I finished uh, the Rosewood Manor ones. 
is it going to be the Celtic ladies or is it going to be the Kohler Design Studios? So that was a hard choice. This is some conversion information. Okay, so now we're into our mirrors. So the first batch are the fairies that I have left. So here's the Christmas elf fairy. Robin um, from Bird's Eye Stitches sent this to me when she was finished with it. And I just, I recently showed this because I just got fabric for her. Uh, so that's exciting. This is Miss Valentine. So these are all very similar to like um, the Thanksgiving fairy that I'm almost done with. So that's Valentine. Again, these pictures don't do it justice. Uh, they look a lot better in person. This is Halloween Fairy. Halloween Fairy. This is Miss New Year's Fairy. New Year's Eve Fairy. Wait, no. Miss New Year's Fairy. I love the clock she's holding, so that's fun. And then this is Easter Fairy with her little Easter basket. Super cute. I don't know which one I'm going to start next. I really don't have an idea. <laughs> I don't have any idea. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, but that's okay. We have so much to stitch. And then, okay, so then here's my batch of mirrors. Um, so we'll just go through these quickly. So this is Tatiana, Queen of the Fairies. I bet she looks gorgeous in person. Her dress just seems to shine and sparkle. So I love that. I'm gonna move my mouse here. Um, this is Rose Celebration. Super pretty. When am I gonna be able to stitch all these? I don't know. I'm trying not to knock over my coffee cup is here. and kind of running out of space. That's okay. That's a good thing. Oh man, I love her too. This is Silver Moon Tea. Really pretty. This is tea. Two friends drinking their tea together. Love, love, love this one. This one is just called Santa. He's so cute. He looks like he's full coverage. This is Winter White Santa. I think this is the first one I got. My parents got this for me, and I haven't even stitched it yet. So I need to stitch it. I love that one. This one we've seen a lot. I think a lot of people are working on it. The Snow Queen. Gorgeous. This one is Ophelia. I love those colors. Oh, I love this one. Roses of Provence. Gorgeous. This one might be one of my favorites. This is a good classic Mira, Starlet. This one is Garden Prelude, which I know I've seen a couple people working on. This one I actually have two of. I don't know why. Sabrina, I, I, probably because I bought it because I liked it and then saw it again and liked it, so I bought it. Not really, then I had it. Oh, she's gorgeous. This might be your favorite, too. This one is Stargazer. I love it. Um, Sarah Stitchy Mommy is stitching this on like a navy fabric. She hand dyed her fabric, but she's gorgeous on a really dark fabric. She just glows on it. This one is Christmas in London. A lot of these with the mirrors are more like collection, right? Like, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not collecting all of them necessarily, but I probably won't actually stitch all of them, but I, I like to have them. This is called Giggles in the Snow, which I was enabled by Miss Dina from Half Stitch Cross Stitch. Uh, she finished this one, was it last year or the year before? Um, and I had to have that. This, I have another seasonal, Spring in My Garden. This is uh, Winter in My Garden. So planning out the spring garden. 
this is autumn in my garden i love that one that one might be my favorite <clears throat> and then this is summer in my garden really pretty this one is lady of the mist gorgeous look at that dress oh, this one too is gorgeous crystal symphony I bet it just sparkles in real life. Oh, there's a cat in this one. Florentina, which I think is gorgeous. And then this is the Snow Maiden. She's really pretty. This is Botanical Garden. And last but not least, this is Crystal Christmas, which I won from um, Tina of Tina Stitches. She finished it and I won it from her channel. So those are my mirrors. No, this one fell out. I have this one too. This is called Bella Rose and Bella Hydrangea. Okay, those are my mirrors, but I also have a bunch of Noras. <laughs> um, okay, so this is Electra, which I got at um, Keepsakes when I was at StitchCon um, last year. It's gorgeous in person. And then I have all the reindeer, Christmas Eve couriers. I have the whole set. So that's Blitzen. Try to go through these kind of fast. This is um, Comet. Donner. Cupid. When I do these, I will probably try to sneak their name in somewhere just because I will never remember which is which. Vixen. Oh, I like this one a lot. Prancer. Dancer. Simon. Dasher. I know Tina from Tina Stitches is um, almost done with these, I think. Right, Tina? And of course, Rudolph. And then I have the sleigh, Santa sleigh. Okay, so that's my Nora. Well, nope, not all of my Noras. Oh, here we go. I was trying to figure out. Um, and then I have the letters from Nora. I have the C. The L for my middle name and then the Z. Okay. And I have a couple, I think these are, these are digital, so I printed them, so they're in here. This is called Victorian Christmas Eve by Nora Corbett. I love it. Need to put her in a page protector. I love this one so much. And then I have this one as well. This is. Halloween Fairy by Nora Corbett, which I also love. I think I got those from Hershner's. And then truly the last Nora is um, Eva Nora. I just thought that was a great Halloween piece. I have a random thing of Krynik in here. I'm not sure why. Okay, now we're into the, the Kohler, Kohler charts because I have a lot of them too. So I showed you four already, the seasonal ones that I really think I am going to start next year. But I also have The Night Before Christmas, which I love this one as well. I think it's gorgeous. I have Home for the Holidays Sampler. I really like this one too. I have O Canada, because I am a Canadian as well as American. So I need to start that someday for, like, maybe start it on Canada Day. I have this bunny nest. I think it is so cute. 
you know, thinking more like springtime, trying to do more spring. This one is called To Grandmother's House We Go. This is Spring Floral Rain Boots. Oh, I love this one. This is so good because like, you kind of forget what you have. Like That's a good spring one. And then I have another um, seasonal series. Shocking. This is Winter Cat Sampler. Or, or, yeah, Winter Cat Sampler. You can see the cat is right in here. Then I have the Autumn Cat Sampler. So cute. Um, I love this one. The Woods Behind My House. Um, Amy from Amy Loves Toads is working on this one. And I just love it so much. I don't know what it is about it. It reminds me of where my house where I grew up um, in Nebraska for some reason. So I have that, which I love. This is the Spring Cat Sampler. So lots of beautiful spring colors. And this is the Summer Cat Sampler. All right, that's the bucket. That's all the, the goodies from that are not filed away. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to clean up my mess, and then I'm going to drop down to the floor, and we'll start going through our actual files. I'll we be right on back. the ground. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I had to move around quite a bit to get pretty comfortable, so we'll see. But we're starting with A, Annie B's. Annie B's. Okay, let me move you down here. Okay, so I have a whole bunch here. Um, I wouldn't normally keep these in this file cabinet just because uh, they are so thick because uh, they have fabric with them. But I was in through um, Crazy Annie's. I was in the um, chart of the month um, last year for the stocking, stocking ornament club. These are all out of order, but, um, 12 days of Christmas stocking ornament, and they all come with a fabric and then there are beads and stuff too. So here's number six, Gisa Lane. Here's seven swans of swimming. Here's eight maids of milking. I think these are so cute and they probably won't take long once, once I do them. This is two do two turtle doves. I would hang them all up on like a like make like a banner with them. This is three French hens. This is four calling birds. It's hard to remember the song when you're doing it out of order. Five golden rings. Partridge in a pear tree. And this is the one that includes the trim. Like you could buy a trim pack and the beads. So I could have it all. So this one is pretty bulky to be in the file cabinet, honestly. This is Nine Ladies Dancing. <clears throat> this is Twelve Drummers Drumming. This is Eleven Pipers Piping. And last is 10 Lords of Leaping. And then, here, let me put these back in this folder here. I have one other one from Annie B's um, Christmas in the Country Tag Ornaments. I think those are super pretty. All right, next is Antique Needlework Designs, where I have this beautiful, I think it's just called Butterfly. Antique 19th century butterfly. I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. Next is Artful Offerings. I have Kind and Gentle Woodland Holiday Sampler. And my friend Robin gave that to me. I think it's so cute. So that's an example of something that I would have just one of those past two. I have one of, but they have their own file folder. So, like, should I just put them all under A, right? This is a Barbara Anna. It's called All Creatures Great and Small. You know I love the big, huge, giant projects. So I do have that. Okay. 
I have a few from Bella Filipina. This is the Holly Berry Pixie. Sorry about the glare there. This is Black Magic Academy. I think she's super cute. She's like a friendly witch. And then this is the Star of Christmas. I've never stitched a Bella Filipina, so need to start. I have a few from Bent Creek. Uh, first up, I have You Teach, which was a gift to me, and I didn't write who it's from, but they gave me all the floss and the fabric and everything. So I really do need to stitch that because that's perfect for school. Lynn, maybe it was Lynn that gave it to me, I think. And then I have um, this Walking in a Winter Snapper Land four-part series. So this is Sleigh Ride. They're all super tiny. The Villa, they're 50 by 50. Z-Rink. And then this is Chalet. So those are cute. Okay, I have some birds of a feather. Um, this is summer. It looks like it's backstitch, but it's crosses, actually. Can you see that? That's summer. This one is autumn. Sorry about the glare there. These are so unique. Uh, I'm assuming this is spring. It's in French. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's spring. And then this one is winter. French or maybe Italian. Is it Italian? I don't know. I'm just a dumb American, you know? And then I have a few other blackbirds. I do have the casting a spell. Miss Dina finished this one recently. I have Fleece Navidad, which I think is gorgeous. I can't wait to start that one. I have Strawberry Fields Forever. Love it. And then I have She Sights a Bird, which this was sent to me from my friend. I think Lynette sent this to me. Didn't write it down, but I love that one too. Next, we have Blue Flower. I have Wild Flowers. It says, Buttercups have honey, honeyed hearts. Bees, they love the clover. But I love the daisies dance all the meadows over. Daisies are my favorite. And I love Wild Flowers, so I thought that was perfect. And then I have Sleeping Bee. Next is Brenda Gervais. And I have the O. Tannenbaum tray series, which is super cute. I have a couple from Butternut Road. This is called Children's Garden. I'm sure I got this is off of one of the stash unload. It's gorgeous. And then I got, it's called Catch the Wind. Catch the wind. Then I have a couple from By the Bay. This is called Think Spring, which I think she's super cute. And this is Halloween Cove. Okay. I have several, I'm going to kind of skip over this, but I have a, category for calendars, uh, which, you know, I like to keep some of these. This is 2023. This is the, the um, Hannah Dale, which I'm thrilled to have because I love her designs. Um, my friend Candy sent me a couple from calendars. So, whoops. <laughs> Here's the September one. I think she's so cute. And then this cat and the flowers. So, those are calendars. <laughs> um, Caterpillar cross stitch. Oh, this is one that I, again, this is, I can't really show it to you, but this is called Bloom and Grow. That's that. So I'll just show it to you really quick. That should actually be 
I mean, it's the chart, but it's, it's a download, right? I have a whole bunch of miscellaneous random cat charts that I'm going to skip over because there's a lot of them. I think a lot of them are from magazines, actually, that people have sent me, um, which I love them, but I'm not going to go over every single one of them. And the same with Christmas. I have a Christmas miscellaneous folder that I'm going to skip just because a lot of them are just things that were printed out of magazines and whatnot, and we would be here all day if I if I went through every single chart in every single magazine. So this next one then is from Collection Tra La La and it's called um, Suri Au Jardin. I'm not sure what that means, but it's a cute little spring piece with a little mouse. My mom bought that for me um, when we were together uh, from Colorado Cross Stitch. So that's cute. Um, okay, so Cottage Garden Samplings is next. I, you know, I've been giving some of these away the time for all seasons. You know, I signed up for the club, and I didn't love all of them, but there are some that I would like to keep, and so the, that's these, time for all seasons. This is Summer at the Shore, number eight. That's cute. Uh, number seven, Sweet Summertime. This is number four, Basket of Love, Basket Full of Love. Number three, First Signs of Spring. Number five, Beezy Spring, like a bee, Beezy. Number six, uh, Strawberry Harvest. I think that's so cute. Number 12, the reindeer. And then, um, oh wait, that's the year in the woods. Time for all seasons. So there's a time for all seasons. This is a different series. This is a year in the woods series. Now back to the time for all seasons. Um, number 10, this is October 31st. Uh, this is number 11, Turkey Day. Love that turkey. And this is number 12, Christmas Eve. And then I have Trick or Treat, which I think is really cute. The Time for All Seasons series number nine, Gathering Acorns. Super cute. And then this is Christmas Delivery. I think this is my first cottage garden samplings chart that I got. So that is what I still have of cottage garden samplings. Okay, next is cotton pixels and it's this 3D spring cat, which I think is so cute. Maybe these ones that I have just one of, I should just hurry up and stitch, and then um, I can give it away. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the Cricut Collection um, Skeleton Crew. I think somebody gave this to me, but I didn't write down who, so let me know. I think it's really, I mean, it's a great, like, Halloween piece, right? Okay, so see, this one is a digital one. Crochet to go go. This is um, advent calendar that I'm restarting. I need to restart it because there's something wrong with my fabric. I think it was, I was trying to do two over two and the fabric it was too small for that. And so it was bulky, but I love it. I'm actually going to keep that out. Let's just keep that out, right? Uh, Dames of the Needle. Um, this was sent to me from Nancy. Um, so Halloween March drum, and then she included the fabric too, so thank you. Man, I need more time to stitch all these. Um, the drawn thread, so this is called the Alpine Garden. I do think the drawn thread is a designer focus for next year. This is called the Sanctuary. I love. And this is Tannenbaum Topiary. 
so pretty. Okay. That's drawn thread. This is Dutch Treat Designs. This is the Hannah Sanderson 1849 sampler. Gorgeous. I actually bought this twice because I liked it so much. <laughs> uh, Erica Michaels is next. And I have Vintage Garden Smalls, which is so pretty. And then the sampler book. I like that a lot too. To practice your sampler stitches. Frog Cottage Designs. This is uh, Merry Christmas. It's very classic, very simple. Probably do that in an evening actually. Maybe two. Okay, I gotta move. My foot is starting to fall asleep. Right. Okay. Plug you back in there. Okay. From the Heart Needle Art, um, this is D. Freitag 1849, really pretty. Okay, hold on, I had to stand up for just a second and shake my legs out because my foot was falling asleep. Okay, next up is Glendon Place. This is New Snow, which I think I've bought a total of like three times, so I probably just need to hurry up and stitch it. <laughs> this is Home for the Holidays. Oh, I'll be home for Christmas is what it's called. I'll be home for Christmas. This is eggs all around for Easter. This is horn of plenty. Love that one. This is a uh, cruising with the little black kitty cat on it. And this is Sir Thomas, another really gorgeous turkey. So those are my Glendon Place pieces. I have a Halloween miscellaneous. Again, those are mostly from magazines, so I'm going to skip over that. Um, Hands-on design, I have If Pumpkins Could Fly, which Nancy sent to me, uh, which is super cute. And then I have uh, Polar Bear Peak, which my friend Candy got for me. So cute. Hands on design. Okay, here we go. And then heart in hand. I have We Santa 2022. I think he's beautiful. So cute. And then I have the Bloomin' Tiny Town. I think it's really pretty. Oops, there we go. Then I have Heartstring Samplery, which is also, okay, I need to sit back down. <laughs> This is, there's not a good way to do this. Um, which is also a focused designer for next year. This one is called Simple Living Sampler. And it says, I still find each day too short for all the thoughts I want to think, all the walks I want to take, all the books I want to read, and all the friends I want to see. I think that's just darling. Um, and Sandy, this is one from Sandy that she sent me a big packet of charts and I decided to keep that one. This is What a Time to Be Alive. This came out during the pandemic. Um, what a Time to Be Alive. And there is a color version. This is the white version. There's also a color version inside. This one is um, the HF 1837 Sampler. So pretty. It's a really thick book, though. Um, a faithfully reproduced antique sampler. Really pretty. This is a freebie that I just want to show because um, it says this haul, today's haul brought to you by Acorns and Threads, which I think is really cute. Okay, then I have the two giant ones. Consider the lilies. Stunning. And his eyes on the sparrow. Also gorgeous. I don't know which one of these I'm going to start next year yet. I need to sit down and, and want to figure that out. So if you have a vote on which one you want me to start, I mean, they're all giant ones, which do I need another giant start? No. But has that ever stopped me before? Also no. 
All right, I have one by Heinzeit, which is the Oregon one. Again, that one would not take me long. It comes with all the all the charms. I should just do it. I should just do it. All right, next up is Ink Circles. And I have After the Roses, which is so gorgeous, those colors. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. And then Star of Sumatra. And I got the silks for this as well because I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So those are my ink circles. And then it's So Emma. Oh, I won this from Candy. Um, Starlit Snowflake. It's so cute cute little ornament. <laughs> Next we have a, I'm laughing, you'll see why. Big old pack from Jan Hicks Creates. <laughs> okay, let me get back up on my knees here. Okay, so I have Carolyn's Balloons Spring, which I have not yet started, which I need to. Winter, but I've already done that once. I'm not sure why it's in there. See, some of these are also, these are, some of these are digital, but I put them in here because I have a bunch of her hard copies too. So this is Silver Bells, which I have. This is Louise Chapos, 1844. Gorgeous, gorgeous sampler. This is uh, A Palace of the Winds, which I love. I need to do that one. I have the Seasons and Lace series, so this is Spring. Um, this is Stitch Happiness, which I think is beautiful. This is Peaceful Christmas Samals. I love the blues and just the simplicity of it. This is Seasons and Lace Summer. This is Seasons and Lace Fall. This is Seasons and Lace Winter. And then I got the Love is Love flag. So that's my Jan Hicks packet <laughs> section. All right. Then next is Jardin Purve. Okay. Back on the back on down. <laughs> Chardon Purve. This is sampler of Fleur, which I'm starting in February with Sarah from Stitchy Mommy. So I'm actually gonna keep that out because that's gonna be a start next year. Love this one. Cat Lovers. Love this one so much. I think it's so pretty. I think Shelia is working on that. Sampler a shot. Another cat sampler. But they're different, see? They're different. <laughs> Completely different. And then this is Patchwork, I think it's like Patchwork of Winter. So I have not stitched any chart in Purvey, but I love the charts. All right, JBW Designs, who is another um, designer focus next year. I have a friend so dear, how sweet it is to have a friend so near and dear. I think it's just really sweet. And then I have the Twas the Night series. Two, four, okay, so series one, Twas the Night. So it goes through the whole story of tw the night before Christmas. And you get three charts. These are so tiny. I mean, her... Look how tiny her little pamphlets are. They're 39 by 39, and all three charts are in this. I would do this not as individual ornaments, but as, um, this is number two, uh, all in one piece. I think it would look really, really darling. All in one piece. This is number three. So cute. Yeah, they show if you did it all in one piece over here. Look how pretty that would be. You get the free border. Yeah, definitely going to do that. Um, and then this is four. 
I don't know if this is the one I'm going to start. I also want Floral Alphabet is one I really want of hers that I was thinking of starting because it's in March. Um, and I was going to do that for like my birthday start too because I really want to start Floral Alphabet. So I just need to get it. Okay, now we are on to Jeanette Douglas. Um, Jeanette Douglas, so we're starting with a series, the Blooming Bouquet series. So number one, I've already started, so that is in my whip pile, but here we have number two, which is called Cheerful. I have a bunch of hers. So number three is Joyful. And on these that have words, I'm taking the words out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in, the, in place of the words, but I'm not going to have words on any of these. Number four is Beautiful. So pretty. Um, number five is Bountiful. This is very fall, isn't it? Number six is Hopeful. This one might be easy just to take the words out and shorten that border, but you know what I mean? So we'll see. I say it's easy. <laughs> this is Christmas box. This is so pretty. So dang pretty. Look at that. I just love her stuff. This is English Rose Sampler. I got this on Stash Unload or maybe in the discount pile at um, Acorns and Threads. I can't remember, but I just think it's so pretty. English Rose Sampler. This one is called My Stitching Box, which I think is so pretty. Look at that. Uh, it's gorgeous. I don't have the box or anything, but I loved this little belt, this little mini, I don't know if it's a needle roll or bell pull or what, but it's so gorgeous. Her stuff is thick too, because she has a lot of specialty stitches, like Tapestry of Stitches, which is a really thick chart, but she's explaining how to do these specialty stitches. So that's my Jeanette Douglas pile. We're almost done with this side of the drawer. So, and then we'll switch sides and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, so this is, I don't have the name. Oh, so this is um, Joan Elliott. This is, this was in a magazine. I had the digital copy. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Sarah Stitchy Mommy's working on it. I can't remember what it's called. I have it in here because it's a digital copy, but I have other hard copies of Joan Elliott. This one is called Christmas Twilight. So pretty. Look at all that red. This one is Christmas Magic. That's pretty too. And that's my Joan Elliott. Okay, then I have a couple from Just Nan. High Hopes. We've seen this one. Sarah recently finished this one for Stitchy Mommy. And then they also have a winter one, Frosty Hopes. Really cute. So gotta get started on those too. Um, next is Kaniki's. So this is just have yourself a merry little winter. Have yourself a merry little winter. This one is warm winter wishes. So pretty. And this one is winter solstice. And it says winter's calm, winter's white, snow covers the earth in the solstice night. They could have had more white stitching in there. I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's not much white stitching in there, which is good, because they could have put more in, and they did it, which is very kind of them. <laughs> and then last on this side is Kitty and Me, and this is Colorful Cats 310, for keepsakes, because that their cat is 310. Okay, that's this half. I'm going to pause, and we're going to switch around to the other side, and we'll do, I don't know, L through Z. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're still on the floor. <laughs> you can see my kitchen kind of. Um, you don't usually get to see that. So I have a little more space so I can spread my leg out at least on the side. So the first one is Leisure Art Leaflets. I just have a couple. One is the Daisy Girl. I saw Sarah working on this. 
And so I got it off of Etsy or something like that. And then this one, <laughs> this one is just, this is a very old bread cloth. What year is it from? 1985. I'm keeping it because my grandmother made this one for my family. And so it just reminds me of her. <laughs> and I, it does, you know, it's just like a nostalgic piece. I don't think I'll ever stitch it again, but I mean, I didn't stitch it in the first place, but um, it just reminds me of my grandmother. And so I want to keep it. Um, next up is La Petite Croix. Look at this. Seasonal collection, Halloween and Halloween owl pumpkins. Isn't that, it's just so unique. I think it's great. And then this is Christmas Day. Again, just really beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so I, I need, need to work on those. Um, next up is Lindy Stitches. And I have a freebie. Oh, Robin sent me this freebie after she was done with it. Because it says, thanks, Robin, on it. Um, but it's a little turtle We're carrying a heart balloon. So cute. So she passed that on. Um, and then I have this one, which I love. This is called Tread Softly. And I thought it'd be great for my office. It says, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. Because I work with students who are very anxious and nervous and not at all confident. And so um, I thought that would be just like a nice thing to have in my office. Um, okay, I have two. I need to get the other two. Cats in the garden. So I have fall and summer. So bathing in the asters, which is fall. So cute. She does cats so well. Um, and then stretching in the daisies. This is the summer. So I need spring and winter. So I have to get spring and winter. So those are my Lindy stitches, plus the ones, of course, that I'm working on. Next up is Little House Needleworks. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to get this one. This is called Traveling Stitcher. I think uh, Shulia completed this. This was like... Um, an exclusive for like a retreat or something. It's like a travel bag. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I'm never alone. My stitching comes too. And you make it into like a little travel bag. And so I really, really wanted it. And I found it on either Stash Unload or at, uh, uh, eBay or something like that. I'm not sure. I can't remember anymore. This one is from The Little Stitcher. It is called Magic Christmas Eve. Nothing is more magic than Christmas Eve. I just thought it was a pretty little piece. So many winter pieces. Next up is Lizzie Kate, and I just have one, and this was a gift from my good friend, dear friend Anne, and it's called Friendship. Friends make life a little sweeter. Friends listen with the heart. Just thought that was very sweet of her. And I think you said that very early on in our friendship too, so it kind of reminds me of, of that time. All right, next up is Liz Matthews, and again. We just need more hours. This is Gifts from My Garden. I love this one so much. So much. Uh, this is Winter Garden. Also love this. This is Sally's Shore. Liz Matthews was a designer focus this year, and I just didn't really have the time to start something new. And this is Gather Here with Grateful Hearts. So... Um, I would have started, if I had been able to participate, I probably would have started Sally Shore, honestly. So I just think it's so, what are they calling it now? Grandma Chic? Love it. Um, okay, so next up, Long Dog. Um, and I have two in progress, but the one I haven't started is Plate of Fancy. I also have... Um, Pandemic, but that's a digital one, so it's not in here, which I don't know. I'm seeing that the system is not not a perfect system. Next up is Lucy Beam, and I got Immortal. Brian Cross Stitch, like I'm an Immortal. This will be started next year in, I think, October is her month for Designer Focus. Next up, I have a couple from Luminous Fiber Arts. This is a Cardinal's Carol. Cute. 
And then this is Friendship Series Stitching Birds. Stitching Birds. And I think I might have some up in my like kitted or partially kitted um, uh, drawer. Okay, next up is Lynette Peters. Um, I finished Carolyn and her cats. And she sent me another one called um, Love Mono Heart. And I'm just going to flash it real quick because it is just the chart. So it just says love, love, and several times. It, it's really cute. I might start that at um, Valentine's Day. This is Carolyn and our cat's chart, if you recall. And you can swap out the center. There's two cats, two dogs, a dog and a cat, anything you want. Um, so she designed that for me, which I'm... Very touched by. Next up is Madame Chantilly. Madame Chantilly will be a Garon um, focus on a designer next December, I believe. So I have this one, um, and I'm just show you the name. Robin sent me this, and I don't know what it's all in French, so I'd probably take the words out. But I think it's a really cute piece. And then I have Cats in the Rain. I really should start, honestly. And then I have Berries and Robins, which I love that one. So those are my Madame Chantilly. And then Madame Lafie, which I have a lot of Madame Lafie. I have Blue Flowers. So gorgeous. I have Noel. I have another Noel. It's a different Noel. What am I going to do with all these Christmas pieces? I have um, On the Ice, I think it is. Sir La Ross. I would take out the words, but. And I have Batiste Deschat. Cat's one, which I think I actually have another copy of this that is kitted. We'll find out upstairs. So those are my Madame Lafitte pieces. Next is Modern Folk Embroidery. The only one I have is Red Berries, A Christmas Greeting, which I think is gorgeous. Uh, but there are several more I could definitely see me wanting to get of his work. My Big Toe. This is Amazing Grace, which Sarah sent to me very kindly. You need to start that. This is my little sampler, and oh, it's by Running with Needles and Running with Needles and Scissors. I see I have it. <laughs> it's called my little sampler. I see I have it. Um, miss. Um, labeled in the files because so I've labeled it by the chart title which is not not the intent next up is October house fiber arts this is the itch to stitch it's really cute and then this is vintage tree which I think is beautiful okay next up is petal pusher this is, how does your garden grow? So it's several spring pieces. Very cute. Home Street Samplers. Okay, my foot is falling asleep again, so time to shift. Okay, so Plum, Plum Street, Street Samplers. This is Welcome All Hearts Home. Super sweet. And then this one is from Linda Fisatola. This is called Harvest Delivery. She sent this to me a long time ago. I feel like right after I started my channel. Kat has joined us as well. So next up is Posy. This is First Snow. I love the simplicity of it. I really do. This is Summer Storm. And then this is <laughs> the Stitcher's RSVP. 
it says, listen, I still want to be invited, but I'm not coming. And there's a bunch of stitching motifs on it. I think that's really, really cute. Okay. Next is Prairie Schooler. Oh, you're too, you, I'm too low. <laughs> there's a cat right there. You can see him eating. Like a good little boy. I like it when they eat. Um, Prairie Schooler. So I have button up. This is a chart my parents got for me that first Christmas when I started coming back to cross stitch. And then I have this Prairie Schooler, the alphabet. So these are not the original, but, um, ABC. I honestly don't know if I'm ever going to stitch these. So D E F I might actually try to sell them like as one set G H I it was, it sounded good in, in theory, but like I could see doing like K is for kitty, you know, just doing that one or something, but just doing the ones I really, really like. Oh, some of these are, this is like the real cardstock. This is MNO. This is PQR. This is STU. This is VWX, like X is for cross stitch, you know, that might be a fun one to do. And Y and Z. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not ready to let them go yet, but you know, we'll see what happens with those. Okay. Next up is Puntini Puntini. And I have, this was sent to me from Dallas. Um, books and cats you sent that to me a while ago too, Dallas. A house is not a home without books and cats. So sweet. I love that. And then this is called cat lovers. Cat lovers live here. Super cute. Okay. We're up to the R's. Uh, this is, um, rabbit Valley studio, peach tree park sampler. Sounds like acorns, and I thought it was really unique. I'd never seen it before. And again, this would work for spring, right? I thought that was really cute. Next up is Rebel Stitcher. Uh, and I um, have Women of Honor Sampler. Let me start that too. Um, next is Reflets de Soie. Um, I have one started, but this is Emile Martin, 1894. Really pretty. Look at that border. Um, yeah. Okay, next up is Marie... Gondard, 1876. Get another beautiful sampler. And, oh my gosh, this one. Uh, Yvonne Lake Clerk, 1905. Look at those colors. Look at those colors. So pretty. Sometimes these are in the um, clearance bin at Acorn, so I try to pick them up when they are. All right. My next big pack is from Rosewood Manor. <laughs> on top of the ones I've completed and I'm working on. So Rosewood Manor is another one of my favorites. So this is Creation 2. I just love those colors so much. The pinks and reds. Um, tickled pink, love it. I love it on that fabric. What is the fabric? Let's just check real quick, shall we? 28 count pictures plus Nessie is the fabric. It just works so well with that. I have a Tisket, a Tasket. Really cute. I have Turkish Delight. I think I even found my fabric for this one. It's not the called for, but it's very close. I saw this in person at, I think, the brag table at um, 
the Pacific Northwest Stitch Summer last year, not this year, but last year, and it was gorgeous. This I got off of uh, Stash on Load, Trip Around the World Quilt, so it's another alphabet. I think it's so pretty, so, so pretty. This is ABC Tapestry. I like kind of the busyness of it. And again, you could pull out just certain ones that you want. And each, each square, so like if you're looking at the L, there's a bunch of little L's in there. It's really hard to show. If I hold it really close, you can see that there's a bunch of L's in that motif. Maybe I'm trying to see if there's a better, not really. But if you look, you can see like it's written in a lot of different fonts. So it's kind of fun. Um, inspiration. I keep seeing this one in various places and I keep thinking, oh, I need that one. Not remembering that I have it, but I only bought it once. So that's good. Look at that border. That border takes up like half the chart. <laughs> I love it. I love the ridiculousness of it too, right? Like it's just so big. And then twin samplers, which I love. Um, Garon Citry was able to get those for me. Okay. So those are my Rosewood samplers, aside from the, or Rosewood Manor samplers, aside from the ones I already have started. Then we have Rivaris, and of course I had to get the Daisy one. Really cute. I'm thinking of doing like a shelf, because I'm also working on um, Dreaming of Daisies by Rosewood Manor. And I'm thinking of doing a Daisy shelf in my craft room, because love daisies. Okay, my foot's falling asleep again. Okay, next is Running With Needles. And this is Beloved, which I know a lot of people have. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Next is Sambri Stitches. Becca, this is um, Asa Sampler. I think my friend Andrea gave this to me. Isn't that cute? It's just like a little kitty cat sampler. It's precious. Next is Samplers Remembered. This is Luz Gonzalez, which I was in, um, enabled by um, Jan Hicks because she has it in her stash pile. And I just think it's so unique and so beautiful. Next is just Sarah. It's just Sarah. And this is winter. I've had this one for a while too. And I like those. This is like miniature marvels, right? And it, this one comes with the little charm there that you put on. Next is Satsuma Street. So I have a merry pair. This we got off of the freebie table at oh I can't remember now. One of the one of the retreats. It comes with everything you need, so I need to do that. And then Mr. Cat, Robin sent me this. Really cute. Okay, hang on just a minute. I gotta Okay, shift. I'm back. Um, okay, so next up is the Scarlet House, and we have Penny Pumpkin. This was also sent to me from Robin a while ago. Scarlet House is also gonna be a Garan um, designer, a uh, focus on a designer next year. And I'm not sure which one, so let me know. Penny Pumpkin, or if there's another one I'm gonna buy. <laughs> and then this one. I'm just laughing because it's so big. Seeking Refuge, which I know a lot of people started or finished or worked on during the pandemic. Um, I got it during the pandemic, but I honestly wasn't ready to stitch it during the pandemic. Just like simply from like a mental place. Like I was very, like a lot of us, I think I was feeling very lost and confused and on edge. So this one says, I mean, the timing of it is just uncanny because this was not, this was not, um, designed for the pandemic, but it came out, I think, right at the start of the pandemic. Um, copyright 2020. I think it maybe came out at Marketplace, so March of 2020, I think. Um, it says, when the world seems to be out of control, I find a way to nurture my soul, seeking refuge with needle and thread, the angst and anxiety no longer I dread. And I mean, that saying is just... It's just, it's almost eerie, right? Like how the timing of it, because I know a lot of people during the pandemic did find, you know, comfort in their needle and thread. And a lot of people came back to stitching during the pandemic. So maybe they did it when they were younger and then, you know, just life got in the way and they had to kind of give up some of their hobbies and the pandemic gave them an opportunity to come back to it. And so 
I do like that one. Um, and I feel like I could be ready for it, but um, I don't know if I want to start a super cute one. <laughs> that's that's my thing. Okay, next up, this was super cute too, is Scattered Seed Samplers. It's from my friend Andrea. Look how cute that kitty is. It's called Miss Matilda. So cute. So cute. Okay, next up is, this is another one of my favorites, uh, Serenita di Capagna. Um, this one is the months of the year. It's going to be really hard to see. The picture is not great, but look at that style. I love the style. And she gives, uh, for October here, she gives like a Halloween one, or you could use just pumpkins. So you have your choice of Halloween or pumpkins only. I love it. And I actually really like how she has it framed out it looks like it's on a piece of board and these are just kind of like buttoned on or something I don't know I really like it I love this one then I also have I love cross stitch which is super pretty um and I was thinking about what if I just did like the girl even I mean I do love cross stitch but what if I just did the girl I don't know and then I have another advent um which I think is so darling. Just the the detail in that. It's so gorgeous. So um, I don't. I'm not sure when I'll start that. Gary, please put um, Serenita de Campagna on the 2025 Focus on a Designer list. Thank you. Um, that's how that works, right? This is by Shakespeare's Paddlers. It's called Antique Cats and Crowns. I also need to do this. I bought this with my mom. I think my mom might have bought it for me um, when we were together at Colorado Cross Stitcher. So that reminds me of my mom. Shakespeare's Paddler. Next up, I have one from Shepherd's Bush that my, um, my friend Robin gave me. This is called Spooky Notes, which is super cute. Super, super cute. Next is Stitches Through the Years, and this is called Magic of Winter, and I think it's so pretty. Look at that. Magic of Winter by Stitches Through the Years. Next is Stitch and Jewels. I have Christmas Party. This is a full coverage, I think, so I would probably either scan it into markup rx or see if it's compatible with pattern keeper i bought the paper I, I guess i didn't realize what it was when i bought it i bought the paper copy um yeah full coverage pattern 230 by 280 it only has 43 or 34 colors so isn't that fun very like i love it all right next up is stony creek so I have several booklets. First up is Christmas Sentiments, which I know my friend Candy is working on. I know some others. Candy, are you almost done with this? I think you're almost done. And then I got some Stony Creek from um, Lynette. Did you send these to me? I'm sorry. I can't remember exactly who sent them to me. Stony Creek. So this is Snowman Parade, which are super cute. Here's some more on the back. Super cute. I really liked Stony Creek. I was also sent Fairy Magic, which is so sweet. Like, look at those little fairy girls. Like, oh, just so. Look at this one here. These are all included in this. So look at that one. Look at that. I love that. I need more hours. This is Family's Blessing. I think I got this one because I was looking for, like, a good family tree. Like, that is what I bought this one for, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'm going to stitch it, but this one it has a bunch of like family type stuff. So I got that. And then this is reindeer and ribbons. Just super pretty. So those are my stony creeks. Um, like charts. Of course, I have a bunch of their magazines as well. But Next up is Sue Hillis. I have a bunch of Sue Hillis. I was totally enabled... Um, at StitchCon last year. So this is 
Blessings and Blooms. Oh, this is book two. Wait, let me. Hearts and Spools. So many hearts, life's a stitch. So I would probably leave the words off, but I really like the designs. And this is the second one. Friendships Bloom, Count Your Blessings. But I just like the sewing motifs there. So I think that could be really cute. I got um, So Many Memories, the sewing machine. So I thought that would be cute to hang above my sewing machine. Love this one. Mary Noel. Isn't this gorgeous? With a really pretty, like, silk red floss or something. I think it would be gorgeous. This one is easels made easy. So it's a booklet on how to make an easel. Um, so it's not actually a... I'm trying to think. Well, maybe there... I think that maybe the chart is in here. Um, maybe not. No, it's just the instructions on how to do an easel. So that's what I got that for. And then I got some state ones from her. So this is the whole United States. And then I got Nebraska. I got Oregon. And I got Colorado, which is where my parents live. Um, and then I also have a wintry mix, which I love. I love this one right here. It's so pretty. So those are my Sue Hillis designs. And then we have the Sweetheart Tree, which is just this cute little spring kitty cat one. It's called Itty Bitty Kitty and the Baby Robin. Super cute. Next is Sweet Wing Studio. This is called A Little Spring. That's darling. Next is Tempting Tangles. This is one I got on the freebie table somewhere. I can't remember where. Penelope of Pods and Puffs. I kind of love it. I would do a little bit different color fabric, I think. But I really love it. This is one that I think has a lot of potential and I haven't seen it before. So that's fun. Next is Teresa Kogut. This is Work of Heart. I think I've had this one a couple times also because I love it so much. I keep forgetting I have it. So I like that. And then I have the Flurry booklet that has several charts inside. Um, yeah, so, okay. I was going to show you the whole booklet, but then I'm like, we're going to be here forever. <laughs> so it's the flurry booklet. I mean, it's been around for a little bit. Next, I have one Teresa Winsler um, that I got off the freebie table. English Cottage Sampler. Gorgeous. Here's my question about Teresa Winsler. Because I know that she does, like, a bunch of blends. Has anybody converted her charts to like over dyed to get that, you know what I mean? Where you don't have to do a blend, but you could do like convert it to over dyed and then just use over dyed to get the variegation. That's what I want to know. Who would like to convert this chart to over dyed for me? That's my, that's my real question. Okay, next up is Tiny Modernist. Uh, this one is a digital, but I think I have it printed. This is a 12 Days of Christmas. I don't know if I'm actually going to do, it's so cute though. Um, it's just so cute, but um, I have so many of those 12 Days of Christmas, and it's not a favorite song of mine either. It's just a lot of charts, so I like have that. This one is Halloween Calendar, which I think would make a cute, like, get a little needle minder or something, and you can, like, mark it along the way. Um, you know what I mean? Like a countdown to Halloween. And then I have the Christmas one. So you could do like a little advent calendar countdown to Christmas. So I like those. Those I think I got, I got them somewhere, maybe off of stash unload or something. Those, um, countdown ones. Okay. So that's tiny modernist. Wait. Oh, there's a couple more. I was going to say, I thought I had more tiny modernist. I do. Um, this one is Folk Art Sampler. I think she's precious. I love her. 
And then this one is Scissors with Flowers, which is also great for your craft room. Okay, so that is Tiny Modernist. Next is Trail Creek Farm. This was sent to me. This is Millennium 2. I can't remember who sent it to me. But I really like it because, like, look at that deer. And it says, Happy, Happy, Happy New Year this year, which, you know, I love a good New Year piece because we don't we don't get a lot of new year pieces right i mean there's some i have some all right next up is twin peaks primitive i have skating on the pond which i love that one so cute i have 1899's christmas christmas is a bridge we need bridges as the river of time flows past and then I have the ornament book. And here, let me show you. This is a better. So it's just a several ornaments in case we run out of anything to stitch, right? <laughs> uh, so I have that. Okay. Next up, we have Valerie Pfeiffer. And this all started... Okay, so this one I got off the freebie table at StitchCon last year. This is called Three's a Crowd. Then my friend Becky said, oh, I have some of those. I can give you, send them to you. So she sent me Sitting Pretty, it's Darling, and The Blues. Aren't those Darling? I need to stitch these so I can send them to my friend Robin because she will want to stitch them, I'm sure. Next is Victoria Sampler. So I have some of her charts here and I have some that are partially kitted upstairs. So this one is Celebrate Sampler. I love it because it's like a happy birthday sampler. Look at that. I don't know if I'm going to do the Hardinger. I might do like a different design down there. I just, this one has a lot of Hardinger though. We'll see. This one is Stitching Under the Oaks. I think this was a um, maybe for a retreat or something. I'm not sure. But I think it's really sweet. And then this one has a butterfly lace sampler. I got it off the freebie table, including the accessory pack, which those are not cheap. I just thought that was a sweet little piece. So I got that. And then, I think we only have one more. Works by ABC is our last one. And it is Exquisite Lace, which I think is so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to eat a little lunch here, and then I'm going to head upstairs, and we'll go through our kits and kitted projects. I'll All see right, you I'm back after lunch. Um, back on the floor. <laughs> I am in my craft room, and you can see I have a day bed here. That's a cat bed on top of a bed. And then you can see I have a drawer here in the bed that is chock full of kits and kitted projects. So let's take a look and see what we have because I think there's gonna be a lot in here that I want. <laughs> and I need to like go through this drawer, right? It's, it's packed full. And so I need to like reorganize it or make some decisions here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull them out. I don't think they're in any particular order. Here's another Kohler Design Studio. This is Fiesta Wear Collection, which I love. And um, it's all kitted up. It, it doesn't have the fabric, but it has all the floss. This is a gift from a friend of mine. And I have Fiesta Wear in my kitchen. So I thought this was great. And I was so excited when I saw that they had this Fiesta Wear. Isn't that fun? So that has a floss in it, which is why it's in this drawer, because it just, it makes it a little bulky. Okay, next I have a bag here. What's this? This is Scary Apothecary. Oh my gosh, I have the floss and the fabric. So this is hands-on designs, and it's these um, cauldron cleaner, bat balm, bitter brew, broomstick, Cackle lozenges, coffin paint, spider legs, 
skeleton polish and snail slime. So it's kitted up. I might need a couple more floss threads. Um, I have all the different individual pieces of fabric. It is a 16th yard, 32 count smoky white, vintage smoky white. So it's ready to go. I just haven't started it yet. So that is one I should actually start. <laughs> uh, next up, this is a kit that I got uh, at the Garan Situ in the Wild. This is by Teresa Kogut. It is Sunshine and Blooms. My heart sings in sunshine and blooms. I was thinking about replacing those words with like stitching in the wild 2023. Uh, but I'm not sure if it has everything I need. The floss and the fabric. Next is this. Let me see what it is. I don't know what it is. It's got, oh yes, okay. This is called Snack Bar. It is by um, Lindy Stitches. It is a, I did a one day retreat um, in January with Acorns and Threads and Lindy Stitches was one of the designers. I think this is really cute with the acorns, but I, this is the fabric that they gave us. It's, it's looking kind of orange, it's pink. I thought it would be super cute to replace the acorns with hearts and make it a Valentine's Day piece. So, because also around here, these look like little lips. So I thought I'd make a really cute Valentine's Day piece. So that's my plan with that. But we got everything, you know, with our paid uh, entry fee into the one day retreat. Gathering of the Nuts, it's called. Okay. You saw this recently. This is a Mill Hill kit I picked up probably at Acorns. Yeah, it looks like Acorns. It is called Spotted Cow. It's a Buttons and Beads. She is gorgeous. I love her so much. And of course, Buttons and Beads comes with everything. I will probably, I don't know if I'll put her, I might do her on Perforated Peeper. Um, depends on how I want to finish these. A lot of times I like to put them on fabric just because for me, fabric I could put it in a Q-snap, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've, I've stitched on the perforated paper before, and it's fine. But I feel like if I want to make it a pillow or something, I'm going to do um, it on fabric. This I got off of a stash unload. This is Tea Time. This is by It's So Emma. It was a stitch quarterly by the Fat Quarter Shop. And I did do about a year's worth of stitch quarterly, but I missed this one. And I think it's really, really cute. And it came with everything you need. So I'm really happy to do this. I would probably take out the word spring. But otherwise, I think this would be a great spring piece. So I got that. This was on the freebie table at a retreat. It is called How Far I Roam by Needle Treasures. I just think it's so pretty. It says, no matter... Where I travel or how far I roam, there's no, just no other place quite as nice as home. I don't know if I'll put the words on there, but I sure love that scene. And it comes with everything. I'll probably change out the fabric. It looks like it's 14 count white Ada. And I'll see about the floss. Um, doesn't say if it's DMC or not, but I'll, I'll see. So I like that. This is another chart that I got for from um it's by Ink Circles called Sand and Sun uh from Garan uh Stitching in the Wild and it has the fabric and the floss you can't really see it in there but I thought this was a fun like little retreat um reminder piece this is a dimensions kit my friend Sam got me for this for me I think for my birthday or Christmas it is called Simplicity Vintage and Sarah from Stitchy Mommy and I are going to start this in uh, May of next year. Um, and it comes, I will for sure change out the fabric. I will probably keep the floss because I'm pretty sure Dimensions uses DMC. So I'm going to actually set that aside because that will be a start for 2024. This one I bought totally influenced by Stitchy Mommy. This is another Dimensions kit. It is called The Finery of Nature. I know Jessie Marie is also working on it. It's so pretty. 
I love it. I had to get it, but of course I haven't started it yet. Um, I like it on the black. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep the 14 count fabric that comes on or not. So, as I, I don't know when I'm going to start it now, <laughs> honestly. Oh, this I have in here. These are just little gift tags. I made a few of them. It's all kitted up and everything. I'll have to see if I'm going to make any more of these or maybe um, just dismantle that one. I have notes in here. <laughs> this drawer is a mess. This is truly the drawer where everything goes to. Linda sent me this Lizzie Kate Liberty Sam, which is so cute. And she sent me the fabric and the floss and everything. So I do need to stitch that. So that is ready to go. So I have that. Get all the air out there. So thank you, Linda, for that. I do, I do like it. It is in my drawer to stitch. This is a kit that my parents got for me. It is, um, so there's a Scandinavian center in Minneapolis, um, and that's where they got it. And it says, welcome to our home in um, Norwegian. And I think it's really, really pretty. Again, it came with everything you need. It looks like it's 14 count Ada. So I probably won't do the 14 count Ada, but you know, the floss is just DMC. So I really would like to stitch that and get it hung up. I have a little bag from Garan. What is in here? A whole bunch of stuff. Oh, this is the Halloween box. The first Halloween box um, from 2021. Okay, so this is all the accoutrement and is in here. The fabric, the floss, needles, all that. But the chart is by Erica Michaels and it is All Hallows Eve. And it is this um, Halloween chart. So we have that. Sorry about the glare on these. Next up is this one that my Aunt Gail bought for me, which is very nice of her. She took me to Stitchville, USA one time when I was there. And she bought me Nora Corbett Christmas Tree 2010. I really love this one. And it's all kitted up. It has the beads. Look at that blue crinic. Oh, so pretty. Classic color works. And we have this fabric. This fabric is Ocean Kiss 32 count. And it, it came all together. So I do need to... How many times do I have to say that? I do need to start it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, next we have a Garon Halloween bag. Let's see what's in here. This is um, <clears throat> just cross-stitch the annual Halloween issue from 2011. Is this? Oh, that's it. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I'm wondering if this is where Elegant Pumpkins is in. Oh, I've already stitched that one. That one I want to stitch. I bet that's why it's in here. Yes, here's my Elegant Pumpkins. So I, I, this is already a whip, but I'm gonna put it in with the whips. Okay, good to know. Um, but the reason why it's in here is because I also wanna stitch this chart, Peekaboo, which I think is so cute. Um, and I have it all kitted up. I was just, this was like during the pandemic when it was hard to get fabric. And so I had to wait quite a while. This is 28 count black linen. No, Lin Linda, black Linda, 20, 28 count it says, um, or 27 count. And I have, I have everything I need. It's all kitted up. I just need to start it. But I think I was going to start it for Halloween and then it took a really long time to get the fabric in. And so then Halloween was over and I was like, well, I don't want to start it now, but I want to start it because it's been a couple of years. This kit I bought, um, I can't remember where, the Nutmeg Company from the Nutmeg Company, which I think is in the UK. Yeah, UK. It's called Tall Advent Tree. I think it's really, really pretty. And this is like, it's Ada. 
So I will use the kit fabric for this, um, but like you make it a 3D. Isn't that fun? It comes with everything you need. Okay. Jeepers. Here is a kit I bought. Um, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. It is a Thea Governor. Um, it is called American Wildflowers. How much do I love that? That's a good winter one. That's a good one. Or, I'm sorry, um, spring one. Spring, summer one. So, I'm telling you, I need more time. Okay, we have a bunch of little mill hill kits here. This one is Christmas Village. I'm not quite sure. I'm not 100% sure if I will stitch this. This might be a giveaway. It's very cute, but I have a lot of mill hill kits that I have not started. This is a freebie. Um, but I really like it because it's a little kitty looking out their garden and I thought it'd be a cute like little fast spring one. So I have that. Then these next four are Robin's Fault. And I do think about these a lot. So I do would like to start them. I want to do all four. So this is called, this is Mill Hill. It is um, Winter Cheer Series. So this is Peppermint Tweet. And I love the blue and green together. This one is called Warm and Wise. This one is called Marshmallow Sweet. And this one is called Frosty Mug. So it comes again, they're my hill kits, so they come with everything you need. What I think I would do is I would find this blue and the, um, Here's a blue blue fabric for two of them and the green fabric for two of them and then frame them all together in one piece. That's what I want to do with these. I mean, yeah, it comes with the perforated paper, but I do think about those a lot because I don't think they would take much time and I just, I really think they'd be really pretty. Okay, another, this is a Christmas Halloween bag uh, from Garant. Christmas Halloween bag, did I say? Christmas bag from Garan. I believe this is the Christmas box. Yes. Rosewood Manor. Oh, Santa. Um, and then you could also do the Ho 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 chart or the snowflake. And again, this has everything you need in it. Fabric, floss, everything. So that is in there. I have a bunch of floss for... Um, Balmy Spring Day, which is one of my haids. That's a bunch of floss for that. This next one is, this is mostly kitted up. I don't know why I haven't started this. These I got from Etsy, I think. They are Black Cat. It's from Stitch On. So, um, X Stitch On. So this is just 61. This is 02. I think it's really cute. And then this is a one. And I was going to stitch them all on one piece of fabric. So I don't have the fabric yet, but I have most of the floss in here. So, and I have some notes on how to, like what I need and how I would put it on one. But I love those. Floral cats. Yes, please. This one I've been meaning to start for a long time. I have the fabric. I have the beads and the floss. Um... This is another one I was going to start a couple years ago, and then I don't know, like, I just didn't get around to it, and then I was like, oh, well. This one is called, I don't have the actual magazine. This is from a magazine. Um, I don't even know if it says. Um, it's called Summer Pier. Let's see. If we can get an idea of what it looks like, even if it's in black and white. No. <laughs> okay, good job, Carolyn. Um, well, I'll just show you this. It's like a boardwalk type. It's called Summer Pier. And let me show you actually the fabric because the fabric is kind of what, it's like a pier. It's a pier, right? Uh, scene. It's from a just cross stitch magazine, I'm pretty sure. And the fabric is Flabic, Flabic, Fabric Fair, and it's called Fabric Flare, and it's called Evening Sunset. And this is kind of, actually, I think it would go this way. Because, like, the water is at the bottom, and then you have that sunset at top. Um, 
So I really love this one, but again, haven't started it. I haven't started pile. Okay. I have to move my leg because I'm falling asleep again. I'm not falling asleep. My leg is. <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> Although I might take a nap after this. Okay. Then we have this cute little Milho kit called Winter Holiday Collection Holiday Wishes, which I think is so cute. I think that would make a cute little gift. And look, I don't know if you can see. Okay, so, oh, you can't really see it. It has this cute little wreath button in there. So, yeah, you can't see it. But that's cute. This, oh, remember this? You're like, what is that, Carolyn? We don't know what that is. This is my Peter Rabbit. So I showed you my calendars downstairs. I was also gonna start this one year and then I didn't. This is my Peter Rabbit calendar. And so I wanna stitch all of them. I have the fabrics. I have the floss or at least most of it. I just need to start it. This is my problem is that I have all these great projects, but then I keep buying the new stuff, right? I need to come, I need to come up here. Okay, I have a bunch of floss here, and I'll tell you why. I have a bunch of fabric here. It's kind of getting bent. These are for the Snapshot series. The Snapshot series is by Pine Mountain Designs. I was going to start this with Kim. I think Kim started hers. I did not start mine. But let me show them to you. They're ready to go. Mostly, I think I'm missing some fabrics, but I have some to start on. I don't know what order these are in, but this is April. This is, what, January? Aren't they cute? This is August. This is July. May. I love May. May is one of my favorites. This is... February, also super cute. The letterbox, love that. This is March, in like a lion, out like a lamb. This is October, so cute. Not spooky, just cute. This is November. This is December. This is September, back to school. And then this is June. I love this series so much. I should start it. Should I start this instead of the year in stitches? Probably. Am I going to? Probably not. I will start it at some point because like, I really do like that. It's just so thick because it has everything you need. So it takes up a lot of space. That's my story anyway. Okay, next up I have several of these... Um, Bothy thread kits um, because I want to do like a cute animal Bothy threads um, Rendell Designs wall. I'm not sure, but I have a few of these kits. So this is the kitty one. I think it's cute. I'm going to change the fabric. Even though I like the fabric, it has those dots on it, but I am going to change out the fabric. So there's the kitty. This one is called You and Me. Super cute. This one is called He's a Fun Guy. Just super cute. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. And this is called Moo. And I think it'd be really cute to get like, I don't know, six or nine and hang them on a wall. I think that would be fun. Okay, here's another little Milho kit that I got. This is just called Garland. It's a little tiny kit. It's really pretty. Okay. Then we have some more Victoria Sampler kits that are partially kitted, which is why they're up here. Um, this one has the thread. Uh, it's called Winter Holiday Sampler. Really pretty. Look at that one where they're ice skating together. Winter Holiday Sampler. This one is Heirloom Nativity Sampler, which I know that... Um, uh, Sarah from Stitchy Mommy is almost done with this one. It's really pretty. And this one I have the fabric and the floss. So this one's ready to go. This next one is called Carol Singer's Sampler. Really, really pretty. Again, I have everything I need in here. It looks like a big piece. Huh. 
It's a 27 by 36 piece of fabric. I think maybe, <clears throat> probably because I was gonna use part of it for this and part of it for the winter sampler because I don't have any fabric in winter sampler. So I think actually they are probably all ready to go. This is an RTO. Um, this is Among Black Cats. I think he, that's just looks so much like Jackie, my black cat. So I had to get that. And there's only four colors. Oh no, six colors. They're all black and gray and white. And this is another RTO. This is Fairy Tale. Fairy Tales Live on the Roofs. I think that's really precious. Okay, you should see my pile. <laughs> All right, then I have a bunch of Dimensions kits. <laughs> okay, whoops, I bumped you. All right, so first up is the gold. This is Enchanted Ornament Stockings. I know Amy from Amy Loves Toads. Just finished this one recently, but I love it. It's so pretty. So I have that. This one was a gift from my niece. It is called Fall Fairy, which I also really love. This one has beads on it. It's so pretty. This one is um, the Christmas Village Ornaments. I know Miss Dina from Half Stitch Craft Stitch is working on that. So really pretty. This one is called Alan Mealy's Gracious Era. Not pretty. I think my brother got me this for Christmas one year. I just love the old timey look, you know? This is another stocking called Sleigh Ride at Dusk. Also gorgeous. This one, um, my friend Dawn sent me. This is a Dimensions uh, Early Snow Cardinals. And it came with this little organ needle minder. Um, so that's really, really pretty. Thank you, Dawn. And then this, this is not cross stitch. This is just in here. Um, my parents got this for me somewhere. I'm not sure where they went. It's a wicker basket kit. Make your own wicker basket. So I need to do that because I thought it'd be cute for like keys or just little things, you know, on your desk or whatever. Okay. Let's pull the rest for Okay. Some more little kits here. These I got off of Stash Unload. This is a gold collection petite kit. This is Noel, I think it's called. Candlelit Noel. Not pretty. This is Splendor at Night. I think there's a larger version of this, and I really like it, but I like I don't know if I would want to do the large version, but the small version is good enough for me, you know, considering everything I have. Okay. This whole kit, <laughs> this is everything I need is for a Chatelaine evening in the park. I'm not gonna pull it all out. Um, well, maybe I could show you the picture. Yeah, I'm gonna, if I haven't already, I can't remember. I'm gonna rebuy this as a PDF so I can really zoom in and see what I'm doing. I bought this way before I knew that you should really, with Chatelaines, you really need to have them digitally so that you can zoom in and see. I have the whole kit, so that takes up takes up a lot of space. This other one, right? This is also a whole kit. Um, Stephanie of um, what's your channel name, Stephanie? She hasn't uploaded in a couple of years, I don't think. Um, but she um, did this beautiful Mill Hill kit, all on fabric, like Village Christmas Village. And so I have like, I don't know, nine or 12 of these Christmas Village um, Mill Hill kits in here. And I have some fabric. I'm not 100% sold on the fabric. So, and you stitch them like three across by four down or four across by three down. And it's like a village and it's all glittery and beautiful because they're Mill Hill kits. So they have beads and all that. So that's what this is. And I need to start it. <laughs> that's going to be a massive undertaking. I have this little cute one, A Kiss for Snowman, which I think is super cute. We are getting there. Let me do that one later. This, so I have it in this, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't know why I have it in here. 
Um, oh, here's Bling Tree. Uh, Robin and I are starting this in December. Bling Tree by a Victoria Sampler. We're going to start that in September. No, December. <laughs> and I have that. I have the floss. So I just need to get the, I'm going to pull that out. I need to find fabric for that. This is another color classic chart. This is Victorian Snowman. Super pretty. Look at that. Oh my God, I love it. And I don't think I have the fabric, but I have all the floss. Okay. This is um, Luminous Fiber Arts Snow, Snow Mini Friends. So I have that and I have um, some floss for it. Okay. This one is super cute. A Robin's Discovery, also by Luminous Fiber Arts, and also I have the floss. Okay, this next one, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Into the Garden Softly by October House Fi Fiber Arts. A friend got me this for my birthday a year or two ago, and most of the floss, I think one was missing because it was out of stock during the pandemic, includes the fabric. So this one is pretty much ready to go. This one um, is also one of the first ones that my parents got for me when I got back into cross stitch, and I still haven't stitched it. It's by Waxy Moon Designs. It's called Search the Sky, and it says, may you never be too grown up to search the sky on Christmas Eve. I love that sentiment. I have some of the floss, and I have the fabric for that. Oh, this is, yes, this is the one that my friend got me. I showed you downstairs. Madame Lafie, but... Petite de Chat, um, and this is the one because it has the floss in it. So my friend Sam got me that one. Okay, this next one is a Mira, and it's up here because it's all kitted up and ready to go. Well, no, I have beads and fabric. I don't have the floss. This is Lady Justice. And you know I'm not much of a patriotic stitcher, but I really want to stitch this one, and I really want Lady of the Flag, but I am not willing to spend $300 on a chart, which is often what it goes for on, like, eBay and stuff, since it's out of print. Okay, this next one, oh, I love this one, too. <laughs> okay, this one is Laughing in Flowers by the Victoria Sampler. The Earth Laughs in Flowers. I'd probably take out the words and just do the flowers. And it has fabric with it. So this next one, I know I looked and looked and looked. This is Judith M. Kirby's Victorian House um, from Stitch and Time, which I think Stitch and Time went out of business, unfortunately, or they closed down. I don't know if they, you know what I mean. So this one, I wanted both charts. I think I saw this on um, Kef and Deb Snug Harbor Crafts doing it. So I got house number nine. And then to go right next to it, all in one piece of fabric, I got house number 15. And I think it's just so cute. And so, yeah, they show you, you can do them together side by side and it'll look like that. And I have the fabric. She helped me get the fabric. I just need the floss for it. Okay. So next one is going to surprise all of us. <laughs> this is, who is this by? One Nation Under God. Sorry about all the crinkling there. By Twin Peak Primitives. I don't know if I'm actually going to stitch this or not. I bought it. Um, all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. I like it. Uh, I'm just not much of a patriotic stitcher. I can't remember why I got it, to be honest with you. But I have it, and um, I have some of the floss, too. So I might just repurpose the floss and, you know, use the chart as a giveaway or something like that. Um, so I don't I don't know that I... I mean, there's a huge white house in there. I mean, I think that is the white house, but, like, I don't... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. It's like the first one. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to stitch that. This one is a uh, Glendon Place. This is Sleepy Hollow. Miss Dina from Half Stitch Cross Stitch stitched this. I think Gary also stitched it. And I have some of the Krynek and the Karen Water Lilies and some beads. And that's it. 
This next one is Praiseworthy Stitches. This is Gingerbread Cottage Drum. So this is what it looks like all spread out. I think it's cute. I think I'm also kind of like, mmm, because I just bought that plastic canvas kit, which is very similar. So I don't know. I might use this as a giveaway also. I'm not sure. Because I also have my praiseworthy stitches. This is called Winter at Sugar Hill. I feel like the fabric is a little too busy. So I would go with a more muted fabric, but like I have a bunch of the the treasure braid and beads and all that. So like I would pick one of these to stitch maybe. Okay. Then what else do we have? Oh, I have this. I don't know why it's, oh, because there's a few flosses. This is Floor Graphica by Jan Hicks Creates. It's a terrible picture. I have a few of the flosses. That's why it's here. Okay, fine. And then the last... Let me just check. Yes, the last one. And again, like, I really need to do this. This is something that my grandmother started before she passed away. And I was given it to finish. This is a Jan Link kit. It is called Christmas Cross Stitch. And that's what it will look like. Let's see if there's a year. 1989. I don't know when she started. She did not start it like right before she passed away. It was, you know, years <laughs> before. Back when we still, you know, taped. So she has the smallest start on it. I'm not even sure which way it goes. <laughs> but I would love to work on this. And normally I would just restart it on fabric that I like better. But, you know, it's kind of neat that my grandma started this so she just has a smaller start though so those are all my kits and titted projects i have one what one that i was like mm, i'm not sure which is not good i really like everything i have which I'm, I'm grateful for so that is everything i hope i enabled you a little bit let me know um thanks so much for hanging in here i think this is going to be about two hours a little bit over two hours so thanks so much for Sticking with me, I'm going to clean up. I am surrounded by projects, so I'm going to clean everything up a little bit, and then um, I might go take a nap while this is uploading. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.